Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Paper Craft Secrets. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button. You will find lots of tips and tutorials about paper crafting, including card making, scrapbooking, and planners and coloring. Today I am sharing one of the new collections for September for Kaiser Craft and it's called Wonderland. This is the only collection that I received this month. So today we're just looking at Wonderland and it is all in a blue color scheme with hints of sea green and beige and cream. And there's some really, really pretty papers in here. Let's get started. This is P2595 Winter. Has a lot of different Christmas trees on the front side of the paper and on the back is tiny little cream hearts on a teal green, light teal green background. It's very pretty with a lace sort of edge there. The next one is P2596 Stars. Again, you've got that sea green or that teal green or teal blue background with some lovely cream and beige colored stars. On the reverse, it's a lovely print this one. It's got lots of little Christmas trees and flowers and grass, sort of like a nature print. It's got that real sort of Montessori feel to it, this paper actually. Modern, a modern sort of illustrations. Um, I like that page, that's really pretty. Next up we have P2597 Frost, which looks sort of like a mandala, um, but a lot of mixed media look over there. That would look really nice with some white, in, um, white paint templates mixed with some texture paste for a layout. On the reverse is the white wooden panelling with some Christmas trees and stars and snowflakes and a navy strip on the back and that one was P2597 Frost. Moving on to P2598 Snowfall. Lots of delicate snowflakes on a wood, wood wooden background, cream colour wooden background. And on the reverse, a quote, it's Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And that has a burlap or hessian look in the beige colours. Whoops, this should be this way. Next one is P2599 Chilled. I love this page. It's got lots of lovely hearts and triangles that can be fussy cut out and created into all sorts of different patterns. And on the reverse, it's a very dark, navy, almost purple wooden design with a Christmas tree strip. That's beautiful. I love that colour. P2600 Snow Scene. Little tiny specks of Christmas trees and a couple of reindeers and some little stars. Looks does look like a, the hill of a, a frosty snow hill. On the reverse is this sea green, teal green colour and it looks like a fabric, like an old sort of blanket fabric or a lounge, like a law lounge sort of fabric, so that's really different. And a strip of stars, P2601 Woodlands, this is like a taupe coloured background. And the trees look, I don't know, I don't want to say charcoal, they look like a brown, sort of a grey brown. So some interesting colours in that one. And on the back is a navy and white plaid design, or navy and cream plaid design. Check it there. 
This one is P2602 Woolly and it does look like a woolly jumper that someone might wear at Christmas time in America. And on the reverse you have four different patterns and a heart strip along the bottom. This one actually is music. Um, I think Hark the Herald, Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King. A couple sort of song lyrics I would say, maybe that one. Or maybe even um, something from the Bible. But it's, it's all about Christmas and Jesus being born. And this one is P2603 Snow Crystals. And it is the lovely sentiments that I love. And I made a set of cards by cutting out these sentiments and putting them onto a set of 10 cards. And on the reverse, some snowflakes, which I have seen people fussy cut out. I've done a couple myself and they can look really amazing. So that is the regular papers. Now there is a, there are two specialty papers. This one here is PS538 Advent Silver Foil. It is cut into little squares suitable to make an advent calendar and Casey Craft have some great beyond the page advent um, calendars that you can make up. And so that is designed specifically for decorating an advent calendar. However, it is also can be used in regular scrapbooking and I have used that in one of my layouts this month. The other specialty paper is a snowflake die cut. And this is really delicate and pretty and it's in a light blue, grey blue. And I have used that also in one of my layouts this month. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video because I will show you my set of cards and my layouts that I have completed and that I will be releasing this month on my YouTube channel. This is a sticker sheet. It has quite a few rows of stickers. It has a big snowflake sticker here and then it's got some sentiments and some words down at the bottom. The stamp set that I have received has been well used. Let me just get a blank piece of paper so I can show you. Now it's been well used, it's inked up. I've inked a lot of it up. Um, let me just take that one off so that you can see it a bit better because it's actually they're a little bit dirty from lots of inking. Um, but you can you can see here we've got a big snowflake and some stars and a little snowflake, a little Christmas tree or maybe a piece of mistletoe. This sentiment here, which is joy, love, peace, believe, and Christmas, and they are separate, so I can use them in design like they are as a Christmas tree, or you can pull them apart and use them just as individual words. This one here, I love this stamp, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And this one over here, May All Your Christmas Wishes Come True. So beautiful stamps in this collection. So as I mentioned before, I have made a set of 10 cards and these cards are quick and easy to make. So they're perfect for bulk, bulk making of Christmas cards. If you do like to make a large amount of Christmas cards, these are not going to take you all day to make one card. They're, they're quite simple um, and quick and easy to make. So this one here, may all your Christmas wishes come true. 
and on the inside I've just done a very simple decoration as well. All is calm, all is bright. Merry Christmas on the inside. The most wonderful time of the year. I like this one, this is one of my favourites. Being together is the best gift of all. So I've used a lot of the stickers and a lot of collectibles. At Christmas, all roads lead home, peace on earth. And inside I've just put the word love. This one, believe in the magic of Christmas. It's a very simple one with a lot of stickers and joy to the world. I like this one. This one's merry and bright. Joy to the world. Warmest thoughts and best wishes. It is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And that's those little hearts that you can fussy cut out. And the word hope. Christmas isn't a season, it's a feeling. Believe in magic. Joy to the world. Merry Christmas. Peace. And the last card. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Peace and joy. So that is the set of 10 cards. And I will be releasing a video showing exactly how to make them. And a step-by-step photo tutorial so that you can make them as well. This is my first layout that I created for the month of September. It's quite intricate. I have used the advent calendar pages. I've kind of imagined this is like a patchwork quilt and I've used the this page here for the background. I also used the template on this one on this page here with um, island ink and I created a triangle design at the side with strips of paper and then I embellished over the top and that's a little photo of my two last year at Christmas and this is the second layout which used this snowflake die cut and I also used a lot of the hearts and triangles from the fussy cut page and this is a cute little photo of two of my friends little girls in front of the Christmas tree and I did a little bit of stamping and some collectibles this one was a very simple layout to do so there's a little bit of variety there more complex layout that takes a little bit longer and this is a little bit more simple and quick to make. So they are my two layouts for September. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing the Wonderland collection that Kaisercraft has released for the month of September. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the, my videos that will be coming out this month. I hope you have a lovely crafty day.